Hello guys, this is the second exercise. The B is supported by a pin at A and a short link BC. If P equals 15 kN, determine the shear stress developed in the pin A, B and C. All pins are in double shear as shown and each has a diameter of 18 mm. So first, let's start with our free body diagram. So I'll start with B and then go until A. Place is my force P, so here's P for P for P to P. I have a distance 0 0.5 meters, 1.5, 1 1.5, 1.5. And 0 0.5. Now my reactions, I have my B reaction here with a 30 degree angle and here I have my AY and here I have my AX. To make it easy for us, I will find the components of B. So my component in Y axis is B sine of 30 in, and my component of x-axis is p cosine 30. Now to find my reaction in b, I have my sum of momentums around a counterclockwise is positive equals zero. So note that all the forces p, they are making a positive momentum around a. So 2p plus 0 0.5 plus 4p times 2 let me correct here 2 plus 4p times 3.5 plus P times 4.5 minus 5 times B sine of 30 because it's going clockwise equals 0. So I have 5 times B sine of 30 equals 27.5 P. So I have my P sine of 30 equals 5.5 P. So I have my P equals 11 P. Plugging my value of 15 kilonewtons, I have P is 165 kilonewtons. So I can find my A reaction first doing the sum of the forces in x axis equals zero so i have ax minus p cosine 30 equals zero so my ax equals 165 times cosine 30. my sum of fy equals zero so i have p sine of 30 plus ay minus 11p equals 0. So I have that ay equals 5.5p. That's the same as 165 times sine of 30. That's 1 over 2. So to find my A reaction equals A square equals AX square plus AY square. So my A reaction is the same as B reaction, that's 165 kilonewtons. In order to find my reaction in C, we can do our free body diagram of our pin, our links. 
sorry. So I have B is pointing that way, my B force, and I have a C force pointing that way along my link. So if I apply my sum of the forces equals zero, I have to find that C minus B equals zero, and then I find that my C is equal 165 kilonewtons as well. So now let's find the shear forces in our pins. So we know that shear force is equal a force that in that case will be a reaction. Even though my pin B, my pin C is vertical and my pin A is horizontal, I have to use my reaction over the area. This is the definition of my uh, shear stress. But in our exercise, it's saying that's double shear stress. So we have to multiply the area by two. Where it's come from, I have my pin here. And here is my reaction. So for both of pins, I have, here's my reaction. And for both of my print, as like a shear stress is R over 2, R over 2. So I have like the shear stress in my pin when it's double shear. Is my reaction, in that case R over 2, times 1 over area. That's our uh, shear stress definition. So my shear stress is R over 2 two times area. That's why I put our shear stress here. So we know that our reaction for all of them is the same. So my shear stress in pin A is the same as in pin B, is the same as in pin C. And then we have our reaction that it is, uh, here's 15 and here's 18. So 165 times 10 to the third newtons over 2 times pi over 4 times 18 times 10 to minus 3 square. Where why 10 to minus 3? Because I'm putting in millimeters. So my shear force for all of them will be 0 0.3 2 4 times to the 9 and then my final answer is in mega pascals recording that mega is 10 to the 6 pascals so for 10 to the 9 becomes 10 to the 6 i have to multiply my number for a thousand so my shear stress equals 329 times 10 to the 6 pascals. So my final answer is shear stress in the PA is the same as pin B is the same as pin C equals 224 mega pascals.